One Class at a Time is sponsored by Republic Services. For Jim Martin, a sixth grade English and social studies teacher, the COVID-19 pandemic was a chance to reevaluate his lessons. I was getting more excited about teaching as we were going through the pandemic than I was less excited. After reviewing what units he teaches in social studies, Martin found an idea that took him into his work shed. What if I could build some that reflected all those cultures? So I just, you know, trying to start these out, I, I did build, I had 12 built a couple of years ago. I just built them in my, my shed kind of, um, and we've been using those uh, the last couple of years with the students and they responded well, they love it. It's really great. He builds atlatls or ancient spear throwers that were used by a lot of different cultures in previous times. This is a baton style. I have my handle and then up here I have a spur, okay. which is just a nail into the wood. Then I put position my dart on the back. There's a little notch on the back of my spear. And then as I throw it, it then as I launch, it gives me that extra extension to launch my dart a little further and straighter than a typical spear would go. Martin plans to use his $250 to purchase materials for more atlatls to build for his class collection. I did ask him if safety was ever an issue, and he says that by being able to hold the invention of that time, the students can better understand how math, science, and geography impacted the different tribes that created their version of an atlatl. We'd have a big safety meeting ahead of time, uh, review all those types of things, but it's, it's such a really cool thing that they, they, they respect it. As I spoke with Jim, he kept reiterating that it was important to him to teach as much native education as he could from all kinds of cultures. His ultimate goal with that is to make social studies tangible enough that his students know how to talk about more complex issues as they grow older. And I think he's doing just that one class at a time. In Missoula, Danny Hallows, MTN News.